So what I want to do in this video is introduce you to the concept of tangents and normals to a curve. We know now how to differentiate a polynomial and we know how to um, find what effectively the gradient of that curve at a particular point. So we know that much and I've described this as finding the gradient say at that point okay as finding the gradient of the line going through that point that just brushes it so the tangent line so what we can say is that the tangent to the curve just trying to get this fairly accurate we could draw like that at that point okay but we could draw a tangent at another point. So we could draw a tangent there, for example. So the tangent there uh, would look like that. So you can see that tangent lines can intersect the, the actual curve again. Okay, So that can happen. And you could have a tangent line right at the top, right, right on the tip. So looking like that, okay? These are all tangent lines to the curve. Now, as we know now, we can find the gradient of this tangent line by substituting the x-coordinate of that point into dy by dx. So we can get the m from y equals mx plus c for it. Um, now, in order to find the c, we would have to substitute the coordinates of that point in, okay? And we're going to see examples of this in the coming videos. Now, at right angles to the tangent line is what is called a normal line. So, a normal sits at right angles to the tangent. So, this is a normal Okay, and likewise, we can have a normal to this point as well. And also this one. Okay, so the green lines here are all normal lines, and the red ones are all tangent lines. So it makes sense then that if we could find the gradient of a tangent line, we could use the negative reciprocal to find the equation of a normal. Okay, So you can kind of see how this is starting to bring back all of the coordinate geometry knowledge that we've learnt beforehand. And anything in the coordinate geometry stuff that we learnt could theoretically be added on, tacked on to these questions as well.